Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to improve the power factor of uh, induction motors using capacitor bank. I'm going to give you a practical explanation and in a very simple way. So this here is our induction motor and uh, this over here complementing this is the capacitor bank. Now uh, the first question you might have in your mind is what is power factor? Well technically speaking power factor is the uh, true power kW divided by the apparent power kVA. Um, don't skip the video as yet, I'll try to break this down in an unconventional manner. So when you buy a bag of chips or a bottle of coca-cola, you don't get the full amount there. So the word apparent uh, comes there now. Apparent means appearing but not actually so. For example, in this bottle of thumbs up, you buy the whole bottle of thumbs up but you don't get full thumbs up. You get up to this amount here and if I just shake this for the sake of clarity the rest is maybe bottle, uh, so foam or bubbles and some air here so you can imagine that this here the, coke, the thumbs up here is the true power and this over here the foam is the reactive power so you need some reactive power to keep the motor running for the magnetizing effect but too much will uh, result in the heat and also in voltage drop so now you have uh, understood the uh, concept of power factor and if I am to draw a power triangle here, just bear with me, It'll, I'll try to break this down as simple as possible. So this line of a triangle can be considered as the true power and if I drop this down here, this will be the reactive power and the hypotenuse you can think of it as the apparent power. Now using trigonometry, we can uh, consider cos uh, phi 1 the angle as the initial or the low power factor and cos phi 2 as the final or the desired uh, power factor here. Now like, taking the practical example here, uh, the low power factor here which we got was around 0.7 and the final was uh, which we want is 0.95 roundabout but uh, we don't really get that much but just for the sake of uh, explanation. Now if you come over here to get the uh, rating of the motor, you can see over here this is uh, 15 kilowatts. So the formula we're, that we are going to use now is uh, KVAR which is the capacitor bank capacity is equal to power into uh, tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2. Now as I mentioned before, if I take the initial, you can use a simple uh, scientific calculator like this, nothing fancy. So if I take 0.7 and I take the cos inverse of that, that is the amount that I get. And I take the tan of this, then this is the amount that I get. And uh, the final, if I want uh, 0.95, then the, I take cos inverse of this and then tan of this. So if I minus the tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2 and multiply it by the power motor rating of this one into 15 kilowatts then I get around about 10.38 or something like that and if you come over here you can see that here the rating is 10 kVAR so this one matches up to this motor and I think you have uh, understood in a very simple manner it's nothing complicated here how to match up the capster bank with the motor similarly behind here we have uh, two more uh, induction motors this is a 15 HP or 11 kilowatt uh, induction motor matched up to this capacitor bank and uh, you can use similar calculations and similarly here again is uh, 15 HP or 11 kilowatt uh, induction motor matched to the capacitor bank. So I hope you like this video and uh, I have tried to give you a practical actual explanation of uh, uh, you know using capacitor banks in a practical uh, industrial field and uh, if you like this video do give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.